Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our second um, club uh, chat. Uh, today we've got Asian Sports. Uh, we're joined by Poonit. Poonit, are you president of the club? Is that right? I am. I am indeed. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so, president of Asian Sports Cricket Club. And we're also day, uh, joined by Dave Allen, who is the city development officer. Um, so, we're, we're going to chat all things Asian Sports uh, this afternoon. So, uh, Poonit, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Um, so, First question is an opportunity for you to tell us about the cricket club. Thank you, Andy um, and, and Dave. Hello. Um, so yeah, from 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 our side, um, firstly, sort of uh, thank you for the opportunity um, for for us to kind of showcase our club um, and give you information on sort of who we are, what we do, how we do things. Um, so Asian Sports Cricket Club itself, uh, it's nearly fifty years old. Um, it was established in nineteen seventy two. Uh, sort of back in back in that day, it was uh, a lot of park cricket and, and the mutual league that was uh, that was in Leicester. Uh, but it has obviously evolved a lot um, since then to sort of where we are now, um, to sort of where we were sort of 50 years ago. I think the sort of the, the idea was more, you know, go to play cricket uh, from a recreational point of view. Um, you know, you're out the house for the best part of a Saturday and, and, and a Sunday. Um, but now, obviously, the the things uh, are, are changed and uh, the dynamics is different. We as a cricket club is, is, is a lot different. Um, we've had a lot of growth over the last sort of um, 20 years, but I'd probably say the biggest um, the biggest thing for us has been over the last 10 years, I say, where we've really put our, our, our ourselves on the, on the map um, in terms of like sort of the Leicestershire um, set up outfield um, and, and more nationally as well. So um, sort of where we are at the moment, uh, we've got four Saturday teams. Uh, we've got a Sunday team. Uh, we've got one evening league team. Uh, we've got a 2020 team as well. Uh, and we've got one indoor uh, league team. Uh, we've got over 100 members. Um, so I think the last count that we did, uh, it was I think it was like 108 members that we've got. Um, we play at three different grounds. Um, so that's Saturday, Sunday and the evening league. So uh, predominantly our base is Bristol. Uh, we play... Our, th our third team play at Spruceton um, on Saturdays and our fourth team play at Markfield on Saturdays as well. Um, in terms of sort of the age ranges that we've got at the club, we've got sort of our youngest member um, who's nine years old and we've got our oldest member who's 69 years old. So a big, big sort of range there. The club itself is run on a voluntary basis. Uh, we have a committee of nine and uh, I have uh, the uh, fortunate uh, role and president uh, of, of running uh, my committee who are, who are absolutely brilliant in, in the work that they do um, which, which I said is, is, is all voluntary and unpaid um, in terms of sort of the coaches side of things we've got four coaches uh, which are ECB qualified uh, we've got five defibrillator trained uh, members we've got uh, one welfare officer uh, and we've got three all-stars activators so that's where we are from a from a sort of a club um, a club, club perspective itself, um, and like I said, sort of you know we've been going for, for nearly fifty years now. But I'd probably say for the last sort of 10, 10 to twenty years has been sort of our biggest change in what we 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 do, uh, what what our sort of uh, thinking is, what our aims are, what our objectives are, and uh, and we look to continue um, on this journey. Brilliant, thank you. Just just humour me here. So you, you lead us. As president, now I guess the majority that would be the chairman. How come it's the president that leads? I mean, so yeah, so so we've we've we, the, the the format is in 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 our club and and the uh, the office bearers has, has traditionally been uh, sort of three main posts, which is uh, a president's post, a treasurer's post, um, and a secretary's post, and then you've, we've got obviously co-opted um, other uh, 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 committee members. Uh, but the president's role is actually sort of a, a, a joint role, like a chairman's role. So I'd probably say it's a, it's a chairman stroke president's role, all all rolled in in one together. Uh, whereby sort of my role is that I manage um, my committee from a from a overall standpoint. All our committee members have got a specific role that they play, whether it's something to do with the youth, whether it's the finances, whether it's the admin side of things, whether it's sort of comms uh, whether it's the internet now um, you know we've got one guy that just looks at our sort of Facebook and the website and um, you know social media side of things so all of our uh, nine committee members they, they specialize in a in, in, in a 
specific role and I overall arch everything. Cool, thank you. So, can you talk about the sort of journey of the club from playing recreationally on the parks to now four Saturday 11s in the Lesham Rutten League? Um, what's the ambition for the club on, on the playing side of things? Yeah, so for us, um, like I said, you know, we started in the in, in the seventies, and it was a very family-based, community-based club um, when when it did start in the seventies. Then it obviously got uh, bigger and bigger, and from playing sort of mutual league, it went into sort of the Leicestershire league, which was obviously a little bit more structured, a bit more um, how can I say, more organised, um, you know, in that respect, um, you know better facilities, better pitches, etc. Then from that journey, uh, you know, the grounds from playing at park pitches, you know, it went to uh, playing at, you know, the Leicester University ground. Um, and that's where sort of we, we, we made our name, um, where, we, you know, we had um, a lot of successes uh, playing at a, a good ground with, with the good players and playing in a good league. Um, at that point, it was, uh, it was called the Leicestershire, um, it was called the Leicestershire League. Um, so from from sort of where we were to sort of the park pitches to sort of where we where we want to be, um, our vision is to is to have our own clubhouse, our own pitch, our own grounds, um, and and operate from there. We've we've got the capacity. I would probably say uh, twenty five to thirty years ago we didn't have the capacity to do that, but in terms of the volunteer organisation that we've got, the structure that we've got at the club itself. Um, and, you know, for the last 10 years, we've done, you know, family fun days, uh, you know, charity events, community events. Um, we've done, you know, the barbecues, the, um, uh, you know, the um, uh, different type of sort of social club events, um, sort of incorporated the youth, the women. Um, so we've set ourselves up very well. So, you know, the ultimate dream and the ultimate plan is for us to manage our own grounds from a, uh, from a playing perspective, from a groundsman perspective, all the way to uh, hiring it out. Brilliant. In terms of that, that kind of senior senior side of things, what's the kind of ethos? What's the kind of culture do you like to to get over to your players when they represent the club and you know wear the wear the badge on the shirt? What sort of things do they do you kind of preach over to them? Sure. So 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 for us, um, as I said, sort of the last ten years has been a benchmark where. We've got in a lot of rules. We've got in a club constitution. We've got a lot of sort of player-related documents um, that sort of states what is good, what is not, not good. Um, we've got a mission statement which I'd which I'd like to sort of read out as well, um, and it's it's on our club website and uh, and something that sort of we're very proud of. It's, it's it's a little bit lengthy, but I hope I do cover uh, you know uh, the, the question in this. So our mission statement reads. Asian Sports Cricket Club aims to provide a safe, secure and friendly environment to learn, develop and play cricket. We are a respected cricket club within the local community and the area of Leicestershire. We promote cricket for all ages. We want to ensure that the development of our young cricketers is at the forefront. We support women's cricket and want to make sure that the numbers increase in this participation. Our aims are to play competitively and at the same time make sure that all members enjoy the game of cricket. We provide an outlet to the community to come and enjoy cricket. We make sure that our club is positively contributing within the community. We are always aiming to improve facilities in terms of ground and provide the best possible facilities available. So we have, and I, 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 it's it'd probably be good to sort of get feedback from other sort of clubs as well that, um, you know, we are a community-based friendly club where, you know, we want to, people to come and enjoy cricket but at the same time play competitive and and make sure that we, we we're getting the most out of our players when they're playing the cricket brilliant uh, i love that mission statement it's it's not a statement it's more of an essay isn't it but uh, someone comes in and it covers everything and I, I think it's brilliant that you've got that and and people can get behind it really essentially isn't it that creating that culture in the club that everybody's going in the in the same direction which is which is fantastic um, so moving on from kind of senior stuff, I want to kind of focus on All Stars cricket. You run All Stars cricket for a couple of years. Go back to kind of 2000 and was it 18 that you first first run it? What was the kind of thinking there to, to get involved with the program? Yeah, sure. So 
when we kind of set off on our on our sort of journey, when I sort of took over the sort of the presidency chairman role, um, it was more what are we looking to do and, and to develop as a club. Um, it was more of a brainstorm exercise because at that point the direction of the club was it, it was it was almost like a blank piece of paper. Um, so where where are we looking to do things? So you know at that point then we said junior cricket was one of the biggest things that we wanted to promote. Um, junior cricket was one of the things that we wanted to invest our time, money and effort into as well. Um, there, had, there was a lot of players um, and there still is at the club where, you know, they were young dads, where they had uh, young children and ultimately their children were going to other clubs to, to play and practice and so forth. So the idea was that, you know, th these, these dads that play for our clubs would and should bring their children here if we had, if we had you know, some sort of a programme. So that's kind of where the journey started for us when it comes to sort of youth cricket and, and the development of that. Now, the All-Stars programme for us, um, last couple of years that we've run it, so in 2018 and 2019, so first year we ran it, we had 17 participants. The second time we ran it was in 2019. We doubled, we practically doubled it. We had 38 participants. Uh, and this year was really good as well because although we didn't run the programme, before we even actually started promoting it, we had 16 already signed up. <laughs> so it was good. But the, the thinking behind that was it was a ECB led program um, we wanted to be part of that program we wanted to promote the all-stars program itself and and we actually believed in the program um, where it was for children that are aged between five and eight to have fun um, when I was sort of brought up playing cricket it was more sort of drills based um, I'm not saying I didn't have fun and it wasn't enjoyable, but in my era, it was more probably, right, you know, you're in the nets for one hour and it's going to be the front foot drive that we're going to practice and we're going to practice that for a good 45 minutes and, and the other 15 minutes is going to be the review of it with, with all sorts of recordings hey, and stuff. You ever play that shot now? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's my favourite shot, actually. <laughs> so that's what it was about, but... I'm, you know, and, and I started cricket at a very, very early age as well. But now, obviously, the, the eras change. Obviously, we're in a new generation. And I think this, and, and when we've discussed it as a committee, the All-Stars programme actually does work. It's not about just like drills and catch the ball like for an hour or one specific thing. It's, it's for the kids to have an enjoyment and enjoyable experience. So um, ultimately, we, we really bought into the programme um, you know, obviously the, the second year that, that we hosted it when it was launched. Uh, for us, it was an enjoyable experience. We, The good thing for us was as well, we kind of catered for obviously the, 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 the local sort of community and, and area. But for us, it was um, something that we did. Uh, we put kind of our stamp on it as well. So like every every sort of session, you know, we'd, we'd have a you know snack for the juniors or we'd get them all around and... Um, you know, just, just say something that's, you know, sort of enjoyable and inspirational to them and the parents. And uh, we'd offer them sort of free tea and coffee. Um, you know, we, we'd have a party for the kids at the end of, 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 the, of, the, of, the, of the sort of the, the six to eight week session. So it was a, it was a good sort of um, experience for us, for us to host it. And going back to the sort of the youth setup itself, it gave us even more confidence that when we do, you know, formalize a youth setup in our, in our club, um, we know sort of what we're looking for and what to do and, and how to do it really. Brilliant. Good stuff. I mean, you know, from my perspective, seeing that growth in all stars cricket, it's, it's been fantastic. And, you know, to have 16 signed up before you'd even advertised it kind of shows the great work that you're doing, you know, and I think that's just going to keep on, keep on increasing and, um, you know, it's quite an exciting future in terms of their all-stars. And you know, did you have plans for Dynamos in 2021? Yeah, we were signed up. Yeah, we were signed up for Dynamo because obviously quite naturally it's a it's a good sort of um program to go on because when we were finishing off both of the years that we finished off, um and I'd I'd, I'd give obviously a, a a little speech and then we you know we cut the cake and everything. And parents would always ask me, they'd always say, right, what's what's next now? So, you know, we finished the sort of the program off now. So but what's next? You know, can my, can my ch you know, child carry on? And um, obviously we've got links with, you know, two, two other clubs that uh, that's, you know, specialising in, in youth cricket, not men's cricket. 
Um, and I, you know, we work in partnership with these clubs and, and they're the numbers that I would give them to say, you know, there's, there's one club that's based in sort of the Belgrave area, another club that's based in, in the Crown Hills area. So um, whatever that was suitable for them, if they wanted um, to, to go there, they, they would, they would go there. So, um, you know, it was, it, it was, it was, it was absolutely brilliant that the Dynamo's cricket program would then ultimately run from this program so for us it would but it was a natural uh, program where you know children from eight onwards be going on to the dynamo program but uh unfortunately obviously we weren't able to to obviously run it but we'd, we'd definitely um run it for 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 the future good stuff look forward to it you uh, you mentioned quite a few events and activities that the club has done to sort of appeal to wider audiences other than just the, the men's playing side of things and one of those that you won an Outstanding Service to Cricket Award for was a Women's Softball Festival. Just tell us a bit about the work that went into putting that on and maybe the impact that that's had on the club. Yeah, it's a good, good question, Dave. And um, again, um, sort of just sort of reiterating sort of where we sort of started the journey, where we were looking at what we want to do as a club. Youth was obviously one thing, but women's cricket was, was another thing. Um, there was always sort of women's cricket in Asian sports in one capacity or another, but it was very sketchy. It was probably the right word to use where um, nothing was actually formalized or nothing was actually sort of like, right, you know what, we're going to kind of do this on, on this day and this is how we're going to do it. It would be kind of sort of ad hoc and, you know, in season and, and not, 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 you know, sometimes, you know, planned to, to how we want it. But again, this was really good for us because, it was the women's softball event. Um, I think it was, we were being sort of, at, you know, in the right place at the right time. I was sort of speaking with um, sort of different people um, at the time just to say, you know, how can we kind of promote women's cricket? Um, and along came, um, you know, a couple of people from sort of Leicestershire and we kind of sort of worked hand in hand and put the actual event together. Um, so it was done at our, our first team ground, which is that first or um, it was absolutely brilliant. You know, the, the day itself, you know, it can't have been better because, you know, the weather turned out nice as well. Uh, we had, I think it was just, you know, just under 100 people, uh, participants that, that came, obviously with them, their families. Um, it, it, was, it was a really, really good day. A lot of work went into it, obviously, in terms of a lot of meetings prior to, to the event. Um, but we were working in a good team. Um, I had a good team of volunteers that day that helped me. I kind of knew sort of what I needed to do when I needed to do it. So it kind of structured a day um, of, of, of manpower um, or of, of sort of plan B and plan C's as well if, if plan A didn't work. So that, that was really good. And ultimately what did come out of that was a lot of interest from, from female participation at our end. Uh, we continued the Bolly Creek side of things as well. So um, uh, that was my wife that sort of continued the Bolly, Bolly Creek side of things. Um, and then, yeah, you know, the ultimate goal for us is to have a, a sort of a formal women's cricket team um, that plays and, and, and also uh, something that is uh, not just cricket, but like a, like a social program attached with them as well, as we've done with, with the men's side where, you know, we do have, you know, curry nights and quiz nights and, you know, we go to the bingo and, you know, just, just things like that, but just something for, for women's um, group as well. So that's, that's the ultimate goal for us as well. Yeah. I guess that kind of leads nicely on to the next question, and you've mentioned a couple of areas, but you know, going forward, fast forward in, 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 into the future, where do you see sort of Asian sports being in three to five years? What kind of things do you want to, you know, change for the for the better at the club? Yeah, so it's like, so the good things that we do at the moment, we still want to continue. That's yeah. that's sort of our backbone um you know we, we 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 play cricket on the saturday we all meet up for a drink we we very very much promote that everybody comes back to burstall and that's our base um after every single game on a saturday so uh things like our curry nights you know um you know going uh, you know meeting up at burstall um our you know annual family fun days um the annual dinner and dances that we have um the uh uh, the parties and the community days and so forth, we still want that. The extra things that we want to sort of uh, uh, see and what we're working towards is the is the youth setup, uh, a formalised junior and youth setup. Um, and again, with, with a social programme for them as well. So ultimately they are playing cricket, but 
Uh, we'd like to do something where we're not just sort of orientating everything around cricket all the time, but what we are looking at is um, something else that we can offer as well uh, when it comes to sort of the junior programme. Um, and sort of the way things are at the moment where, you know, obviously, if, 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 you know, we didn't have a COVID situation and stuff, we had enough members that we could even potentially have a, have a, have a fifth team, you know, like... Um, I, and, and, and a junior setup that we can put in a, in a fifth team. So that's, uh, you know, what we're sort of aiming towards. From a men's standpoint of view, um, you know, we need to continue the progress that we've made. So our first team started sort of in, you know, in, in Division 7. Now we're in Division 3. So we need to continue up on that on that trajectory. Um, but for, for us, the plan is for in three to five years, we, we need to be sort of aiming for that Premier League Division 1 cricket and that's what we're setting up for from a grounds point of view from a sort of a personnel point of view so we've we we're aiming sort of quite high and that's what that's what we want from a from a grounds point of view and, and a clubhouse point of view um so you know what we sort of how i spoke about before where we are um it's quite limited in terms of what we can do and how we can develop there because it is obviously um a, a parish council um that that obviously that, that we deal with but Ultimately, we want to have our own ground, manage our own ground, and, and and have a Premier League, you know, status ground. Ultimately, where we can, you know, continue to host our social events and along with what we've got um, with them on the cricket side of stuff. Um, one big thing for us is we we want to get onto sort of the ECB club mark status. Um, ultimately, one day where we're able to, um, you know, be be proud of 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 the ECB club mark. Um, for us. We want to continue as, as obviously the inner city cricket club that we are. Um, obviously, you know, share good practices, be the beacon and, and benchmark for inner city clubs. Um, and as I said, continue with, with, you know, with the work that we've done, and and then obviously um, positively, you know, look at um, the junior setup and the women's cricket uh, in a more formalised uh, event along with our, our grounds. Brilliant. That's quite exciting to hear really you know there's there's a lot of stuff in there um but it's nice to hear you kind of sort of want to stay to your you know sort of true to your roots as an inner city club you know and i think that's really refreshing and you know it'd be great to, to see a club mark um accreditation in a couple of years um you know and i, I think you're already on that journey to be honest you know a lot of the, a lot of the work we've done in, in the past in terms of setting up all stars and working around the governance side of things, I think we're on well on the way. So, you know, it's a really exciting future. Dave, have you got any more questions at all? Yeah, I think just obviously you guys are fairly well progressed in your journey, but what advice would you have for a club who's just starting on that track? What, what advice would you give to them? Good question. Sure, sure. Uh, good practice is always um, uh, good to be shared. Um, so obviously from a from an inner city club uh, perspective, um, we've obviously, you, you know, you've heard the, the kind of setup that we've got, what we do, um, sort of how we do things. I, I do advise that uh, the club itself, it, it needs um, a, a, a committee uh, and a committee that's willing to um, do a lot of things, a committee that is going to come with different ideas. So I would say the committee should be brainstorming. Um, the committee should see... Uh, what the requirements are for the club, for the for the members itself. No two clubs are ever going to be the same, whether it's an inner city club or a or a, or a, you know a, a village based club, as, you know. Um, but I think the requirements are, are very important of of what um, you know uh, to, to to run the club itself. I think what for for, for us uh, and the success that we we've, we've had is um, it's not only been cricket. Um, we do the other social events as well, um, tied along with cricket itself. Um, and we do the community and sort of charitable events that are tied with the cricket as well. So at this point, you're not kind of completely, you know, focusing on, on cricket, cricket, cricket all the time. You're kind of into sort of twining cricket and interlinking cricket along with other sort of, you know, community events and charity events. You know, one of the things that we do is, uh, Burstall Youth Coaching, for example, um, the youth club that runs on a weekly basis in summer, uh, we have a set session um, of, of uh, coaching um, sessions that we do with them. Um, so our coaches will go there and, 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 and coach the, the, the youth club there. And after that, they'll, they'll probably go for a beer um, and, and sort of a bit, bit of a socialise as well. So it's not literally just focus on cricket, but it's, it's, it's other things as well. But um, for me, I think if you've got 
a, a, a good committee, a strong committee that's um, that's positive and wanting to look at what the members want and facilitate what the members want and do the, you know, the regular activities in terms of, you know, like I said, the social events, the parties, the the you know the award ceremonies, the fun days, etc. Uh, I think you you'd probably be on the right path there. Brilliant. I think that's um, a really nice way to end. Um, so. Pudit, thank you for your time. Really, really appreciate it. Um, as I said, I'm excited to, to see where uh, the future take, takes the club. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. And hopefully have a good winter and hopefully get going into, into the summer, into back to some sort of normality. So, Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Dave.